Can we talk about nuclear weapons? Nuclear weapons, usually they are seen as too big and complicated of a problem to do anything about, but that's not true. We can end these weapons, and for this year's Project for Awesome, we want to talk to you about why and how we'll do that. Hi, I'm Vanessa. And I'm Lucero. We with the International Campaign to Abolish Nuclear Weapons, ICANN for short. And in the next few minutes, we'll share all you need to know about nuclear weapons, why they are bad, and how we're going to get rid of them. First, let's get the facts. There are nine nuclear armed states. Russia, United States, China, France, UK, Pakistan, India, Israel, and North Korea. Together, they have 12,700 warheads, 95% of which are held by the US and Russia. Many of these warheads are far more destructive than the weapons used on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and the nuclear armed states are working on upgrading them all the time. There are also 34 states that have policies that claim to rely on nuclear weapons, so-called umbrella states, which are also part of the problem. Let's talk about how big the risk of nuclear weapons use actually is, and what the consequences of their use would be. Nuclear weapons are not like any other weapons. They are designed to mass murder civilians, to wipe out entire cities and cause irreversible harm to the environment. That's by design. Right now, the risk of nuclear weapon use is the highest it has ever been. Even before the invasion of Ukraine, the UN was warning that the risk that nuclear weapons will be used is higher now than at any point since the Cold War. And over the past year, we have had explicit threats to use nuclear weapons and seen other dangerous behavior around these weapons. You might have heard of the doomsday clock. It's set at 90 seconds to midnight. Basically, the scientists have been ringing the alarm. The risk is too high. First responders like the Red Cross have also warned over and over again that there would be no capacity to deal with a nuclear detonation. Hospitals would be destroyed and the radiation would have long-lasting effects also on anyone who tried to help. And in the case of escalating nuclear war, studies show that 5 billion people could die from the famine that follows. Nuclear weapons also have consequences if they are not used. Their production and their testing have also left a horrible legacy of environmental consequences and devastating health impacts on communities around the world. And that's not their only cost. Last year, the nine nuclear armed states spent $82.4 billion on the maintenance, expansion and modernization of the nuclear arsenals. That's $156,000 each minute, which could be used on climate change, supporting healthcare infrastructures during the pandemic, improving education, like you name it. We've included information about all of this in the links in the description below, by the way, so make sure to check that out. And now I'm going to interrupt to say that it's okay to feel anxious about all of this. This is a lot and you are not alone in feeling worried. If you're struggling to not get overwhelmed with fear, please do check our guide on dealing with nuclear anxiety. We've included a link below. The most important thing to remember is that nuclear war has not started and we can prevent it from happening. So let's talk about what we do to prevent nuclear war. Because nuclear weapons are man-made and we can choose to eliminate and dismantle them. We've done it before. After the Cuban Missile Crisis, countries negotiated international treaties and made agreements to reduce nuclear weapons risk. We also saw them do this at the end of the Cold War after they had built up massive nuclear arsenals. Due to these treaties and these agreements, the arsenal size has dropped by tens of thousands of warheads. These agreements weren't perfect, but they brought down the risk a lot. What we need to do now is finish the job. The good news is that we've already taken the first step. There is already a treaty banning nuclear weapons. The UN Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons entered into force in 2021, making nuclear weapons and all activities related to them illegal under international law. This treaty helps build pressure directly and indirectly on the nuclear armed states and their allies, as well as the nuclear weapons industry. To give you just two examples, last year, the countries that had already joined the treaty were the ones calling out how reckless it is to issue nuclear threats. And suddenly, other states joined in. Eventually, we saw the G20 calling nuclear threats inadmissible, and even the president of China calling this out. Or a complete different kind of example. Since the treaty's adoption, we have seen banks pull out billions of dollars of funding from the companies that are producing nuclear weapons. And here's another bit of hope. There's a massive movement driving all of these changes. 
if you want to help end nuclear weapons, you are not alone. There are people taking action all over the world and there are so many different ways to get involved. You can encourage your local city officials to call on the government to join the treaty. Or you can get your MPs to take a stand and support the nuclear ban through the parliamentary pledge. You can push directly for your country to join the ban. You can challenge your bank, your insurer or your pension fund to stop investing in nuclear weapons. Or you could join us on the clock up where you can find us under the hashtag, hashtag nuclear disarmament TikTok. Or you can think of your own ways to use your voice and become a part of this movement. Or through one of our more than 650 partner organizations in 110 countries. However you choose to take action, just know that your voice matters on this issue because nuclear weapons affect all our lives. We made this video because information is power and having the facts can help you find new ways to take action in ways that matter to you. If this was helpful, we would love it if you could like or even subscribe. And if we convinced you to join ICANN, check out the link in the description and don't forget to vote for us.